Andy Moon with Danny Cowley. Danny, a, a, another victory. How do you sum up that one? Yeah, I thought a um, really professional away performance on a very, very difficult surface um, against a crew team that are dangerous, particularly when they go behind. Um, they open the pitch up, they play with a lot of risk and I thought we were compact, well organised and ruthless on the counter-attack. How much of a difference does it, get it make getting a start like that? Yeah, I think that's, that's the way you'd like to start games for sure. Um, certainly gave us a good place in the, in the game and then it allowed us to then um, yeah, pick, pick them off really. We're, you know, if we've been critical, maybe would have liked to have seen the game out with, with more control. Um, but young Hayden had picked up a, 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 little, a little calf injury, so we had to move Connor then to right of the back three. Um, had to change it a little bit in the middle. We wanted to obviously protect George and, and protect Louis, who have played played so many minutes in recent games. So, yeah, we were a little bit disjointed at the end, but I thought a lot of what we did tonight was good. Uh, is Hayden going to be okay? What's the prognosis with that part? Yeah, no, he just he's just calf tightened up. He's just just fatiguing the calf, really, just just muscle soreness. Um, but once we got to a three 0 lead, it didn't make sense to, to take any risk. How difficult was the decision to leave Tanner Cliff and O'Brien up, given how well they played Saturday? Well, it it was a decision made on where they were physically, really, um, and with the games that we've got coming, everybody knows we've got a small squad. Um, and we just can't take risk. And Hayden had some tightness in his hamstring yesterday, um, and Tunney is just coming back. So to play in a three-game week is very difficult for him. But yeah, no, I agree. They were, you know, if they were physically f- fresh and fit, then then off the back of Saturday they would have definitely played. And they're kind of not the decisions you want to make, but that's that's ultimately where we're at at the minute. I sit next to a uh, ex striker in commentary, and uh, he was first when you take George Hurst off two games row on two goals. That if, if, if that was him or his dad in particular, he probably wouldn't be too happy. How, how do you manage what players want and what, what, what they need in situations like that? George is just a really good kid, and he's very team orientated, and he knows he's in a really good moment, and he's a very important player to us, and he's worked very, very hard to get to this, this place. Um, I think he understands the bigger picture and the bigger picture is that we've got a really important game on Saturday and it, it, it made it made sense off the back of him. It's not easy leading a line game after game after game and that's what he's doing and he's doing it doing it magnificently. So we whenever we can we have to have to protect him. How much momentum have you got now going forward? I think nineteen out of twenty one points is, is a really good return. Um, I liked us today. I said before really I think we needed to be humble enough, we need to be driven. We needed to be focused. We needed to be together because this, you know, people say it's not easy to go to Stoke on a Tuesday night. Well, you want to go to Crow.